Hi everyone, Anora here. I'm going to show you three weighted exercises that you can add into your exercise routine this week and a little extra bonus tip on a stretch. So, grab two dumbbells for our first move. It's going to be an alternating lunge with a twist and a bicep curl. So lots going on. But you're going to first start, step your foot out, Come down so you're 90 and 90, weights in that front heel, so you should be able to lift your toes. You're going to twist towards that leg, curl up, keeping your elbows in front of your ribs, twist back, push back, okay? Then you're going to go to the other leg. Switch legs, you step forward, you twist, curl up, elbows in front of your ribs, twist back and up. This is a great move. Go nice and slow. Okay? Do not rush this move because you could end up hurting your knee if you don't focus on putting the weight in your front heel. So from the side, it looks like this. I get 90 to 90. I twist. I pump those arms. And then I push on back. And you switch legs and you twist, and make sure you twist back forward before coming up, mainly so you don't hit your legs with the weights. Because if I'm here, and then I try and come up like that, there's a good chance you're gonna knock your leg with one of these weights. I do it all the time, so I'm just warning you, all right? Push back. This is a great move because you have to stay down in that lunge and then you have to really push back up. So it's a good power move as well. Just regular old strength building. You're working your arms, you're working your core, working those legs. Really nice. Okay, next move we're going to do. You're going to have that twist in it again, but you're going to squat. Hold the weight here, okay? If you have a bigger weight, heavier weight, you can goblet style it as well, okay? Since this one's little, I'm gonna hold it this way. You're gonna squat down, bring your knee up, twist, squat, twist. Now I'm keeping my knee facing forward, so my toes are always facing you or just facing the forward direction. So I'm not coming up and twisting this way. See how my toe is going that way? No. You want to keep it lined up. That way you keep those obliques into the exercise. Okay? It's very easy to incorporate your top abs. We want to be working on the sides and in that lower area. Okay? So really squeeze. And if you actively squeeze in, when you exhale, bring that knee up, it's going to get into those lower abs as well. Really great exercise. Last one, both weights again. We're going to do an arm exercise, okay? So it's just a simple shoulder press, wide shoulder press. See how my arms are at 90? I'm not going to drop them down. It's going to be a hold and then a press up, okay? You can do presses where you come down, but when you hold it here, it's gonna be a little bit harder because you're working those stabilizers the entire time. Now I'm gonna make it a little harder. I'm gonna lift my knee. It's completely at 90, okay? I'm gonna hold it there, engaging my core, and I'm gonna press up. Now flex your toes towards you and that knee that's up. And that's gonna just incorporate the abs into a simple exercise. You could do five and then switch legs. Or say you're doing sets of 10, do a full 10, then switch legs, or do 10 one round on one leg, 10 the other, okay? Now, our little bonus, just on stretching, okay? So, a lot of times when we do a hamstring stretch, we're just going to do one simple stretch. I'm going to have you 
stick your foot out like this. See my back leg is bent, so I bent that knee. And I'm going to come down and stretch. But see how I'm keeping my back flat? I'm not rolling. Now the rolling isn't so bad. You do get still get a stretch. But if I focus on pressing my chest towards my knee without rolling my shoulders, I'm going to get way deeper into that hamstring. And that's because people who are truly flexible are actually bending right at their waists. Right, I mean, at their hips, not at their waist. So they're not coming down like this. They're bending at that natural waist. You're bending at your hips. So you're trying to almost fold in half. That's true flexibility. So when you're able to come here, okay, so I'll see how my back is nice and flat. Way better stretch into your hamstrings. And then you can touch the floor here. But see how my chest is still sticking out? So I'm not rolling this way, okay? I'm keeping this flat. So that's the biggest tip. So when you stretch, do a hamstring, kind of press your chest out, have your hands on the top of your thigh, not on your knee, okay? So you're either here or you're on your shin. Don't go anywhere near that knee. And just press out. And just breathe. And then if you want a little bit more into your calf, you push your toes towards you. Really simple and easy. But just focus on all of your stretches, keeping that back nice and flat. If you hear that in a class you take, they say flat back. Really focus on folding at your hips not at your waist. So we're not bending here. We're not walking around like little hunchbacks. All right, so that's your video for this week. I will see you all next week with more tips on how to jazz up your exercise. Have a good week.